Hi everybody, Eli here, and welcome to the first Overthought tutorial on landing rockets using the KOS mod for Kerbal Space Program. When I first found this mod, I immediately thought, I want to land rockets with this. So I went looking for tutorials and I didn't find any. Plenty of demos though. Anyway, by the end of this series, we should be able to use and land boosters like SpaceX. So to get started, we want to download the KOS mod, but that isn't covered in this tutorial since it's pretty easy to figure out. Uh, next, we want to design our rocket. It doesn't really matter how you build it as long as it has a good thrust to weight ratio and enough fuel. In my case, I made this booster thingy with an aerospike engine and a KR2042B computer as my KOS controller, plus a few RCS thrusters and gyros for good measure. So let's take this out to the launch pad and see if we can land it by hand. Now for this first tutorial, we are going to launch and land in the same place, but for this, uh, manual, uh, for this manual flying test, we just want to see how well it handles. Okay, that was great. It was easy to land and barely used any fuel on our landing. Let's set... So let's get to scripting. So you can create files for KOS in any external editor as long as you store them in the scripts folder in your KSP files. Once in the folder, create a new file. I'm going to call mine launch.ks. We will then open it in the text editor of our choice. To get started, we want to set all of our variables. The first line here clears the screen so we can start our program on a clear screen. The second prints the message, analyzing to the console. The next locks the throttle to one or full power. The next locks gravity to Newton's gravitational formula divided by the mass of our vessel to get acceleration due to gravity. The lock keyword is important here because it means that rather than solving the formula once when we set our variables, it resolves it every time that we use it. After we ha this, we have a variable that stores the thrust of our engine at sea level. It is multiplied by a thousand to convert it from kilonewtons to just basic newtons. The next line is our keystone. It uses a basic formula to calculate the distance that we will travel before coming to a complete stop if we have our engines on full power. Now that we have set all our variables, let's set the launch code. This is the code that will give our rocket some height so that we can land it. We once again clear the screen, then announce that the countdown has started. After this, we have code that actually does it. We don't really need to set a countdown, so I won't explain it here. Next, we print that we are starting the thrusters, and we stage. We lock our steering to up, and then when we have lifted off, we trigger the gear motion group to retract the landing legs. We wait until we have reached 400 feet and shut off the engine. Let's take a break and test our code so far. Just put a wait until true here, that way the program doesn't end prematurely. So here we are. First we need to check that our throttle is set to zero, or our rocket will take off again after the program ends. Then open up the KOS console to start the program. I have mine paired to a custom action group, but it can be opened using the sidebar or by selecting your uh, computer. We switch to drive zero or the files in the script folder on our actual computer and then run launch. We fly at 4,000 meters, turn off our engines, and fall to our So the next step is to land. Back in the text editor, we delete the wait command 
and we add in our final code. The first one checks it if our altitude is less or equal to our stopping distance. If it is, we turn on our engines. The preserve command means that the win command will run more than once. The second does the complete opposite and turns the engines off when our altitude is more than our stopping distance. The third extends the landing legs. Finally, we wait until our altitude is the same as it was before to set the throttle to zero and end the program. Now let's test it following the same steps as before and launch. and we stick the landing. Please consider subscribing to catch the next tutorial where we will hopefully land a booster on top of the VAB. Thanks for watching.